Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Hero. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of The Walking Dead, season four, episode 10. Inmates. Yes, so last week <laughs> was like the mid-season premiere, uh -huh, yeah. and you and me like kind of had like uh, good and bad things to say about it. Like half of it we liked, the other half we yep, didn't. Yep. This episode for me was a much bigger improvement. I like this a lot more than, I, it's not amazing or anything, mm -hmm. But I thought it was solid, and I, I, I liked what was going on. How about you? I liked the first half of mm -hmm. it, uh, which I would like to title as Who's Your Daddy? Um, we got to see some uh, the, the men, you know, try to <laughs> have father roles in this mm -hmm. one. Uh, you know, Tyrese a little more literal than maybe Daryl's. Uh, I like the first half. I, I want to uh, praise the direction of this. Mm -hmm. I think her name's Trisha Brock, directed uh, the Killing episode, Breaking Bad, HBO's Girls. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the... The opening sequence with Beth and the narration, you yes. know, her talking over and the voiceover. And uh, I, I thought that was really beautifully shot. I thought that was probably the highlight for me of the episode. And I think the strongest parts for me were in the first half mm -hmm. with Tyrese and the girls and with um, Daryl and Beth. Those are my favorite parts of the episode. I think I liked it most of it just because these are characters that I, that I care about, mm -hmm. at least most of them. You right. know, Dar yeah. you got Daryl, Maggie, Glenn. And yes, the, the, the beginning part with, with the narration, it, it's basically a voiceover of, of Beth's diary. Yeah. Her diary. Talking of, to her mom, I'm assuming, because I talk about leaving the farm and all yeah. that. I guess uh, I haven't talked to you in a while. I'm guessing mom, maybe? Maybe. I yeah. think her journal maybe is writing to Oh, to writing to her journal. Yeah, hello journal. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I forget what the, yeah, yeah, right. But so... <laughs> Yeah, so I like that because it, it was like a contrast to you know what was go actually mm -hmm. going on, and, and and I I like her reactions, you know, because she's she's still optimistic, yeah, but yet at the same time she's still upset. I mean, she you know saw her father get his head chopped off. Right. I off. mean, Daryl even said he's like, well, Faith hasn't really done much for, her, especially yeah. your daddy, and then yeah. he was like, ooh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, he, <laughs> it's like he wanted to say sorry, <laughs> yeah, but, but like, he didn't. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But but I like her react, you know, versus, you know, bring it back to last week with Carl. It's like I feel like, you know, he should have had more of a, a, a sadness. And, mm -hmm. and and even the anger is fine, but why, you know, not towards his father, but just angry in general of, of what's been going down. You know, right. why has life done this? And you have Beth here trying to look as optimistic as possible, even though deep down she's very upset. And I think this is why it was the most interesting part of the episode for me, because... Again, and maybe I'm, I'm so hung up on, I love the video game series mm -hmm. so much, and when I saw her and Daryl, even though she's older, I kind of thought about Clementine and Lee. I know you play at least the beginning part, you know, mm -hmm. you know Lee and Clementine, and I, I was like, man, I, I wouldn't mind, just like last, the last half of the for this season right now when the governor and the little blonde girl, mm -hmm. I'm like, I could just watch them walk <laughs> around the country having the adventures of Daryl and Beth. I'm down to watch. I think, but just the rest of the show, I'm just not that into. But I did like Daryl and Beth. Like that's kind of a cool combination. I would like to see them kind of off on their own together more. I think that's why it probably was my favorite half of the mm -hmm. episode was with them. And then you, we had Tyrese with the baby Judith. I mean, Lizzie we, needs to. I don't know. I'm not for killing kids, but man, Lizzie, you can't be. She almost killed that baby. Yeah. I mean, there is something wrong with her. She was like, "There's." See, I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, well. There, there's a scene in, now this is, I won't, there's a scene in the comic books. Now these characters don't exist. Remember the, the twins? The, 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 the little, the boys oh, in, yeah, in yeah. the comic book. They're not even in, they're not even in the story, so it's not a spoiler. But there's a, they do some weird things uh, with an animal like she was mm -hmm. doing with the rabbits. And I think maybe they're kind of playing off of that. Because mm -hmm. she's getting a little crazy. She's weird. I mean, she's like, I don't know what she's doing with those rabbits. She's like torturing them. I don't know if she's just trying to kill them. I don't know what she was doing. She's weird. Yeah. But, I mean, we see that baby Judith is, is yeah. alive. Yeah. She's big. She's getting bigger. And they did the whole, like, like reveal with Tyrese, like, turning around. First of all, they had the... Uh, <laughs> he looked funny carrying that baby. <laughs> with, with the two girls coming yeah. and walking. You didn't even know they were with anyone. I don't no, know. Like, no, I was no. like, oh, are they alone by themselves? Because right. there's no way they're going to survive. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. But they're with Tyrese, and then they... You know, the big thing was that Carol's back. I don't yeah. you know, I don't know about the believability of Carol actually finding them, but okay. Right, she's yeah, back. she's back, she's back. And the whole thing is that Tyrese doesn't know yeah. that Carol was the one who killed her, his girlfriend. Right, so he was all happy to see her and embracing her. You know, he, he, was, he, he was happy to see her, so. She, she, and she had assumed that Rick had already told him. Because she, she seemed surprised by his warm embrace. She was like, Whoa. She wasn't sure, because she yeah. was like, oh, that was enough time, but Rick had only had enough time to tell Daryl before the right. governor came. And then they had to go upstairs. And, exactly. You know, right. 
So we're going to see the adventures of the, those guys pretty <laughs> soon. And they're heading towards somewhere on the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was, you know, it was nice to see, it was nice to see Tyrese being a badass. Mm -hmm. Tyrese is the man. I loved him in the comics, and, you know, it was, it was great to see him, you know, take control and just beat down all those walkers. I, I, I like Tyrese. He, he's a good actor, too. I like and him. then there's this, I guess, a sanctuary place that's mm -hmm. on that map saying, yep. hey, if you come here, you'll live. But We can be safe. We can make it work here <laughs> every arc in Walking Dead has a point where they come to a place where they think they can make it work in, in typical Walking yeah. Dead fashion. It's probably not going to work out. That's not a spoiler. We can just assume that it's probably not going to work out. No, where would the, the story show would be go? boring. Where, where yeah. would the show go? It would be boring, right. You can't do that. <laughs> okay, and then on to, to Maggie, who's separated from Glenn. Right. She's with um, Sasha, Tyrese's sister, yep. and uh, Bob, who we mm -hmm. were talking about earlier. He doesn't look like a Bob. No, he's not a Bob. That, that actor, he was in The Wire. His name was D'Angelo. Yeah. You know, and now he's Bob. He's Bob. He's just regular Bob. Regular every, <laughs> regular every man Bob. So Sasha, Maggie, and Bob have this brilliant idea. Hey, there's a bus full of zombies, our old bus, of course. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Glenn's in there. Let's open that up and see what happens. Of course, before that sequence even happens, you know something bad's oh, going to well, happen. Well, you know that one at a time is not really going to happen. It's like, well, just, yeah, I mean, nothing ever works out the way it should. But luckily, you know, Glenn's not in there. That was mm -hmm. a scene that I think if we hadn't seen the preview, yeah. we would have probably felt more tension. Uh -huh. But having seen the preview last week, we saw that Glenn was alive. Right, yeah. So this scene was less impactful, or this sequence was less impactful, because there, right. I didn't have that uh, tension of, mm -hmm. is Glenn a zombie or not? Right. Because I knew he wasn't. And I'm, I don't mean to, I don't know, I'm getting a little bit tired of seeing this whole idea, every time somebody's really upset and they're bothered by something, they have a lot of, you know, I mean, these people are going through a tough time. Like some people, somebody called us out in the last review saying, well, Dennis and Dave, if you were going through the zombie apocalypse, I'd like to see what you would do. And it's like, well, first of all, it's probably not going to happen, but <laughs> probably, um, probably yeah. not going to happen. Probably. I mean, hey. um, <laughs> but it's like everybody comes to a point where they get like this, like they start like just killing something aggressively, like mm. over and over and smash it over. And then they just like stop and start, <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit tired of seeing that. It's like, okay, I get you're mad, I get you're upset. I love Glenn, so I wanted to find Glenn. I want them to be together. They're, they're a good couple. But just seeing like somebody just bash, we saw that two twice in this episode. Uh, the girl from the governor's camp, yes. who uh, Glenn picked up, she had a scene where she just started just bashing mm -hmm. somebody's head and just like getting all emotional and letting all of her anger out. And I get it, but that scene, I don't know how many times more I really want to see a scene like that. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't do anything for me emotionally. Okay, so on to Glenn. Yes, Glenn. Uh, you know, he's by himself. Yeah. Uh, he kind of <laughs> is in the worst place, but has, has, I guess, the most in the sense of he's still in the prison with all that stuff. So he went through all everyone's right. yeah. mm -hmm. belongings, right. including his own, got the right gear, got, you know, food, right. water lighter like just all the supplies he could because he knew no one was coming back so he took everything he could right, but right. he was in a worse position because he was actually surrounded by tons of mm -hmm. zombies yeah yeah versus the other people who were in the woods they're running to random ones and right yeah, i mean glenn glenn's a badass you know he had to he had to get out of there and he finds a girl just you know tara she's tara is still the governor the governor who had a very deep Romance with uh, one of <laughs> another beautiful woman, of course. So, um, no, I mean, I, I like that. I, I like, I mean, Glenn's, he's a good character. I like him. I like, you know, the emotion, uh, the scene where she um, was talking to him about, like, you know, why would you even want me? Yeah. And he's like, I don't want you, but I need you, you know, and I really like that. That was, that was a good scene. Also, course. Glenn's a good guy, and I think yeah. even if he didn't need her, he would have. I don't think he, I could, he wouldn't just like shot her like you yeah. kill her. you're responsible for Herschel's death boom I mean he wouldn't do that to her no I think he would yeah. brought her along anyways unless she had like unless he had seen her do something horrific but he, she was a bystander but she didn't really kill him necessarily and also she didn't fire a single shot out of her gun no she was scared she got scared but you know and then when you're talking about earlier then she kind of went kind of crazy at the right, end right. Glenn passes out right and then at the very end we see the three. People that we don't know. They seem like military guys. What did he say? He was like Sergeant, Sergeant blah, Abraham. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And well, I guess I don't want to spoil anything. So, but yeah, this, these are characters from the comic books. Mm -hmm. So we're getting this whole new team. One's a scientist, one's a sergeant, and then the girl. So I'm speculating yeah. that, like, okay, these guys are from this sanctuary place. And, mm -hmm. and then this sanctuary. And I haven't read the comic books past the prison, so this is not spoilers. Right. I'm assuming that somehow each group of people are going to end up in sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And that's how they're all going to re reconnect. 
That's just my guess. I won't comment on it because I don't <laughs> want to spoil it. And also, too, I don't know. Because and they the, could change it. They, they could change, change a lot. Of, a lot. Right. They, they there's do. certain characters that lived and died right. that they changed. And But the actor who's playing Abraham's, you know, I forget his name. He's in Band of Brothers, mm -hmm. Southland. He's a really good actor. So I was happy to see that guy playing Abraham. He's such a good actor. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. One thing I want to say, but, you know, before we wrap up is I actually really liked how they kept each storyline separate mm -hmm. instead of weaving them together. There's four different groups, right? Yeah, it was no like cutting back and forth. Between, and yeah. I think it worked more effectively that way because you, the four groups are separated. And, and when you edit, thing, when you interweave things, you make them seem like they are together. Right, it's, right. it's a subconscious thing. Even though you know they're not together, mm -hmm. when you start editing between different places, you, you get the feeling or connection that they're together. Right. And in fact, they are separate. So keeping them separate made it feel like they were actually apart. Right. I mean, like I said, I, just because I didn't like the second half mm -hmm. of the episode as much, I still love the direction. I mean, I think the uh, Trish, uh, Brock did a great job directing this episode. It was a well-shot episode. I really appreciate the direction of this. Yeah, yeah for sure. Well, I, I, I like this episode, especially on the heels of, of last week. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. let us know what you think. You can post your comments below on the website, thinkhero.com, or on our YouTube channel, Think Hero Pro. Make sure to subscribe to that. You can also come check us out on Twitter if you want to talk to Dennis or myself about Walking Dead, why you love it, why, you know, you know if you're kind of so-so on the fence as mm -hmm. I am. But uh, you let us know you're reading the comics or you're playing Telltale's wonderful video game featuring Clementine. Uh, let us know at Think Hero. I'm at Griffin DE. We also have a Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash thinkherofans. Make sure you like that page and share our videos on Facebook and Twitter and other social media. It will really help us out. Thanks.